The chi-square distribution is useful for testing some hypotheses that compare observed counts for categorical data to expected counts based on a null hypothesis. The test of independence can be used to determine if two categorical variables are independent. The goodness of fit test is used to compare a distribution of counts for a categorical variable to the expected counts based on an assumed distribution. The test of homogeneity can be used to compare the two distributions of counts to see if they have a statistically significant difference. The chi-square distribution is obtained by combining one or more independent standard normal variables. Each of these standard normal variables has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. The number of normal variables that are combined can vary. Assuming that there are k different variables, they can be written as z sub 1, z sub 2, up to z sub k. These normal variables can be combined by squaring each one and then summing the results. The resulting sum has a chi-square distribution with k degrees of freedom. What this means is that the chi-square distribution with k degrees of freedom gives the probability distribution function for the sum of the squares of k independent standard normal variables. The shape of this distribution is quite a bit different from the symmetrical shape of a standard normal distribution. For one degree of freedom, the distribution is continuously decreasing. The shape is similar for two degrees of freedom. For three degrees of freedom, the shape becomes different. There is a single peak and a long tail to the right. As the degrees of freedom are increased further, the position of the peak moves to the right and the curve generally becomes flatter. The curve for five degrees of freedom has a peak at three. Since the chi-square distribution is a probability distribution, the total area under the curve is equal to one. Now let's discuss some of the properties of these distributions. Since they are probability distributions, the total area under each chi-square distribution is one. Also, the curves are only defined for positive values. This follows from the fact that they can be described as the sum of squares of standard normal variables. A sum of squares is never negative. The peak of each distribution, or the mode, is located at k minus two for all distributions with k equals three or larger. This can be seen on the graph for the two curves shown. The peak for three degrees of freedom occurs at one and the peak for five degrees of freedom occurs at three. The mean of each distribution is located at k. Since the distributions are all right-tailed, the median is less than the mean. The median falls between the mode and the mean. The chi-square distribution can also be used to calculate probabilities for a variable that follows the distribution. Consider a chi-square distribution with 10 degrees of freedom. For a variable x that follows this distribution, the probability that x falls within some interval is equal to the area under the distribution over that interval. One common area that is used for hypothesis tests is the right tail area. The right tail area is the area under the distribution to the right of a particular value of the chi-square statistic, which can be written as chi squared sub alpha, where alpha denotes the area or probability in the right tail. For hypothesis tests, the area in the tail, alpha, is the level of significance for the test. The values of the chi-square statistic for commonly used values for alpha can be found in tables. The degrees of freedom are given in the left column, and the chi-square values for particular values of alpha are given in the other columns. For example, in the given table, the chi-square value for a distribution with 10 degrees of freedom and a right tail area of 0.05 is 18.307.